taking up water, I'm taking up food. He's just the only one who said what everyone was thinking. Let me just go. The men have made fishing nets from the washed up debris found on the beach. But so far, they've caught almost nothing. I'm not the best swimmer, that's why I don't help out with the gill nets. I can swim, but I can't, I can't save my life swim. If I was in a life and death situation, I'd die. What is it? Poofish. Oh, no. Poofish. All we're catching in those nets is poofish. Poofish. And when I say poofish, a poofish is a fish that tastes like poo. Literally, tastes like poo. Yet again, the men have left the nets in the warm Pacific water too long, and the fish have died and begun decomposing. So this is the poo fish. It's inedible, considering we would eat almost anything right now. And we're not eating poo fish, so it tells you quite how much it tastes like poo. Such a shame, it smells like the right kind of thing. This is revolting. When Mother Nature slams that larder door firmly shut, things in a group can rapidly go downhill. You're hungry, you're despondent, and it's so tempting to give up. But like so many things in life and in the wild, it's actually about how you respond to those crisis moments. So where are we going, Sam? We're going foraging. In their second week on the island, and with energy levels at rock bottom, the men's very survival hangs in the balance. How good would a caiman be right now, Chris? I have vague and fond memories of caiman. It's the same people always working hard, I think. Fletch, Matt, Kiff, Dan, Sam, Saki and Chris. They're the kind of ones that are always keen to go and do as a, a kind of core group of resters. They do a little bit here and there, just enough not to completely piss you off. There he is. One so-called rester, Ryan, the youngest member of the group, has been spotted aimlessly wandering alone. We found him. What's he doing all the way up there? It's good to tell us what he's up to before he goes. Hi, hey, mate. How are you? I feel a bit useless at the moment. Do you? Why? I just feel weak. I don't think Ryan's really sort of engaging with the group and uh, generally helping out. He's quite distant. Yeah, disengaged with the whole process. So I'm just, I'm just genuinely worried about the guy. As the adventure and experience has got harder, relationships between people have become a little more tense. Everyone is very aware who's, who's doing what in the camp now. Don't give me a dress, right? Again. No. He's just idle. It's just an insult to the rest of us. You know, he's only young, and people are probably judging him a little bit too quickly, if I'm honest. i got to be honest, I don't think Graham will see 14 days on the island. I don't think he's going to make it, to be honest. Some people are looking for work, and other people are not seeing it when it's right in front of them. Say Ryan. You know, he's... he's sitting down there doing nothing now, and has been for the last hour and a half. You know, we're too close to the edge of existence to, you know, to have passengers. I don't know if I'm strong enough to do this challenge. I need to go up there, clean up. I can't. Train, but I can't. Right, I need to go. Right, mate. In the midday sun, the temperature is 35 degrees and 70% humidity. You say you weren't any good at rugby? I played, but I was the smallest in the year. Really? Ryan's been asked to help the others prepare a new sleeping area inland, away from the sandflies on the beach. <sighs> There's just no point just moving two or three leaves. Pat. Either do something or don't bother doing anything. That kid's head is up his arm. What's the matter, kid? Are you going to kill somebody? just gave me the broom and said, might be easier with this. What's the matter, mate? Well, honestly... Yeah, go on. Ryan. He's been sat in his ass all morning. And other people were knocking their pipes out. Yeah. And we were clearing up the top camp. And then he comes back and he's got a stick and he's just moving that leaf to there, that leaf to there, that leaf to there. And I've been... <sighs> Sorry, I'm dehydrated and I'm just a bit grumpy. Thanks, so. Thanks. But it's just... Who are we on? Have a guess. 
Brian, do you see everyone working here? You know, you've been walking around in a dream this morning and not doing any work. And we are working hard. I was trying to help. I feel like I'm going to collapse, man. I'm trying my hardest. Really am. Yeah, but you see, well, okay, I don't need but... you. Oh, sorry. I'm really sorry, buddy. Oh, don't but be we're like that. Don't you. be like that. I know you are. It's driving me bonkers. I can't do it, Dan. I won't go. I want to leave. Nah, I'm a useless prick. I need to get off the island. I've got no use. Everyone's carrying me. I'm taking up water. I'm taking up food. He's just the only one who said what everyone was thinking. Let me just go.